Hey everybody, welcome to this iOS development tutorial. In this video, we're going to redo or rather rehash an existing tutorial that is currently on my channel. Uh, that particular tutorial deals with JSON and how you can use data from an external database um, to, and then load that information into your table view. So we're going to use the exact same technologies. We're going to use uh, JSON uh, as sort of the format for the data. We're going to use a MySQL database and we're also going to use uh, some PHP code to actually generate the JSON file. Now one of the things this tutorial is being updated for is that in Xcode 5 uh, Apple's really made a switch to try and use storyboards a lot more and I've gotten repeated requests from some of our uh, viewers essentially asking how they would accomplish uh, what I've presented within a storyboard environment. So this is sort of the answer to all of those questions. Uh, there aren't very many changes, but at the same time, there are a few little gotchas. So if you're not familiar with storyboards, there are things that could trip you up. So hopefully we'll cover all of these. I expect this to be a multi-part video. And so uh, this is just a quick little introduction to show you exactly what we're going to build. And uh, then we'll get started. Uh, essentially setting up our project. So here's a sample application that I've got on screen. You'll notice that it's got a table view, nothing too special here. It's got a list of cities. Uh, and what happens is when I tap a particular row, it loads a detail view, and then I get some information about this uh, particular city. Uh, so what's worth noting, of course, is that all of this data is coming from a MySQL database that's sitting on my web host. And so we're making a call to that database. That data is being returned to us in JSON format. We then consume that JSON data, present it in our table view, and also set up this detail view controller. So a pretty simple little application, but at its base, uh, once you've learned how to do this, you can really pull just about anything you want from um, your database. So let's get started building this application. I'll see you in the next video.